right guys, complete review, or actually quick review, of the Daisy Winchester M14 CO2 repeater, coming up. Hi everybody and welcome to All Things Air Gun. I'm Donnie Reed and today we're going to do a quick review of the Daisy manufactured Winchester branded M14 look-alike CO2 powered semi-auto repeater. This is a completely plastic rifle. Everything about this is plastic. The barrel is um, steel rifled and uh, this is designed to take BBs or pellets it is advertised at up to 700 feet per second with uh, BB uh, unfortunately I don't have BBs to test <laughs> alright I'm lying I do have BBs <laughs> what I don't have is time <laughs> I'm sorry for lying <laughs> I don't have the time <clears throat> um, uh, a gentleman in All Things Aragon, the Facebook group, was saying that he needed a CO2 powered, very mild powered rifle to use for indoor pesting at extremely close range and without any possibility of uh, damaging property. Uh, while I would normally not recommend a, a rifle with this level of power for that um, in this instance, the gentleman shoots well enough, and the uh, the rifle is adequate to shoot a rat in the head at close range and kill it effectively. But I don't recommend that for everybody. This, you know, I, I you're not all winners. None of you shoot as good as you think you do. You're not as tough as you think you are. That guy at work can probably kick your ass. You probably shouldn't say nothing. Most people are lying to themselves about their true capabilities. <laughs> I'm sure I'm one of them. You know, I'm not saying I'm immune from this. What I'm saying is most people can't shoot good enough to use this rifle to shoot rats in the head at 10 yards. And um, don't kid yourself. But some people can and um, uh, I don't condone <laughs> shooting an animal with one of these, <laughs> usually. <clears throat> um, I, I don't know if I even should have mentioned this, but I did, and um, you know, take it for what it's worth. <laughs> but anyway, the rifle itself is kind of cool. It's fun. Do not expect rapid fire from this. It will malfunction if you try to get a, all these pellets out of here as fast as you can squeeze the trigger. This is not a semi-automatic. This is a double action. In reality, this is a double action. Um, sort of. I don't think it actually compresses the hammer spring when you pull the trigger. It might slightly again I don't have the time to take it apart and look at everything but um, now this was given to me by another member of all things Aragon this was donated to the channel and um, I had it you know on the list to review but then the other gentleman said he needed a rifle so I'm passing this one along uh, I'm not charging him for it or anything I didn't pay for it it was donated to the channel so um, uh, the gentleman's gonna cover the shipping and um, I want to get it to him as fast as possible. So I did a, uh, a chronograph testing with Crossman Premier hollow points and fresh CO2 cylinders. It takes two cartridges. And um, I cut it off at 70 shots. It started off decently fast. In the first three shots, it lost the 100 or so, 200 feet per second. And then it leveled out and stayed at around um, three, maybe four foot-pounds uh, throughout a good portion of the string and then dropped off. And I cut it off when it started going below two foot-pounds.
but you could honestly get more than 70 shots out of this thing. I had at least 10 errors with the chronograph uh, that weren't counted in the string, and uh, there were um, a few instances where there was a pellet left in the magazine, but for some reason it wouldn't fire it. I don't know what that issue is. It seems to fire seven and then doesn't want to sho uh, shove the eighth one out. I don't understand it, but it did happen. I, <laughs> you know, just be aware of that. And uh, the rifle is fun, man. I, I did some accuracy testing. Uh, just quick stuff. The best pellet was the RWS R10 wad cutter, the heavy rifle, 8.2 grain one. Uh, I'll show you these three groups I got. Um, the best one was about three eighths of an inch at 10 yards with open sights. That's not bad. Now the trigger on this thing is a mile long and it's heavy and it's weird and it's not a good trigger. But it's not unusable. You'll see the accuracy I got out of it. And um, you know, I, I, I didn't put a lot of effort into learning the rifle and all that. Like I said, this is a, a quick thing. I, I, I have other stuff I wanted to do before this, but now that I'm giving it away, I want to get something out for you with it. So um, <clears throat> I'll show you the close-up look at the rifle first here. Let's uh, have a look at okay, that. Okay, guys, let's have a wobbly quick tour of the M14, the Daisy Winchester M14. The whole thing is plastic. Everything, absolutely everything about this is plastic. <clears throat> the barrel shroud, the sights, the stock, everything is plastic. And it's extremely light. This is not a muzzle brake, it's just molded to look like one. That is not a bayonet lug, it's just molded to look like one. Um, the sling swivels are already installed, front and back. We do have a charging handle here that does move, but uh, it cocks the um, hammer spring, I believe, but it doesn't advance the rotary magazine. I believe the trigger pull does that in a double action style. This is the release, the top release for the CO2 magazine. This is the bottom release. You have to, you'll see when I show you how to use this thing. Hi guys, I'm stupid. I forgot to leave a space for the um, instructional part where I show you how to load this and everything. So I'll just cut this in right here and you can see it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the basic loading procedure for this rifle. First thing you want to do is obviously make sure it is on safe. Make sure you are following, following, following the uh, safety rules as you would in any other instance. The weapon is on safe. Um, this button right here controls the actual magazine for the pellets. So you press this button and the magazine for the pellets comes out. This is a rotary, an eight shot rotary magazine on each end of this stick. You have one for a total of 16 rounds in the weapon. Uh, the pellets, uh, it's marked on one side, the side that's completely flat, you push the pellets face first that way into the flat side. The side with the grooves and stuff on it, you don't put them in that way, you put them in this way, into the flat part head first. <clears throat> so you load your uh, pellets in there, and I don't have to show you, you know how to do that. The CO2 magazine has two releases. It has one up top here. So you press that, pull down, and the CO2 magazine will come down this far. Then you press the second button and it comes the rest of the way out. Now this weapon is completely unloaded and safe. <clears throat> now this magazine has a little cover that comes off and inside the cover is the tool to remove the two 12 gram CO2 capsules. In the bottom is the little, uh, you know, head of the bolt, but uh, you use a little tool, stick it in here, just unscrew them. And look good while you're doing it. 
right? I think I might have failed at that part. <laughs> but, uh, I don't, uh, I put a couple of drops of Pell Gun on the last two. I don't have it sitting here, so I'll just throw these in without it. But um, it's good to put a drop on there. Now we just tighten our capsules back up. Okay. Now with that done, we just put our little tool back in our little holder. Clip it back together. And insert it into the rifle fully. And we are now charged with CO2. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, you know how to load these. I'm not going to make you sit and watch all this. Like I said, you push them just like the diagram says on the flat side. And then when you're finished, insert this into the weapon until it clicks. And now you can work the bolt and fire the weapon as a eight round repeater. Um, flip it around and you got eight more. And that's how you work it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you know the off safe and everything, you know, but uh, that's how it goes. Um, the safety is right here. It's a push forward off, pull back on. The, I'm sorry, the windage adjustment is right here. This is a true peep sight, fully adjustable. Uh, let me turn this over. Actually, I could probably just do it real fast here. Okay, here's the other side, and here's the rear sling uh, swivel. Here is the other side of the magazine where you have the actual release for the ammunition magazine, which is separate, and uh, you'll see when I show you how to load it. Your elevation knob is here. This thing doesn't do anything. This is not a real operational <laughs> piece on this rifle. Um, it's not ugly. It looks like an M14, you know? It doesn't feel like one in the hand, but it looks like one. Um, let's get to the rest of it. Now let's get to the accuracy. Like I said, I um, use the RWS R10, 8.2 grain, heavy rifle match, wad cutter pellet, and uh, for pesting, in this situation, this special situation, that's the pellet I'm going to recommend you use. One, it's accurate, and two, a wad cutter is an absolutely devastating design. Yes, they are advertised as target ammunition, but I'm telling you, shoot an animal with one and see what happens. Your dome doesn't do half of the damage that a wad cutter will do. Uh, a wad cutter it, it's on par with what these hollow points do. Uh, it, it, I can't stress that enough. A wad cutter is a deadly projectile. And that's what I'd recommend in this one. Uh, let's have a look at the accuracy tests. Okay guys, this was three five-shot groups <clears throat> with the RWS R10 Heavy Rifle 8.2 grain pellets. This is one, two, and three. I'd have to say three is probably the best one. But um, this is pretty impressive from this little uh, M14 rifle. Um, these are, you know, good pellets, but, uh, this, uh, worst group center to center was 
0.42. The best group center to center is about 0.36. Yep, about 0.36 is the best there. Um, that's not bad, you know. If any one of these were a rat's head, that's a dead rat. Um, you know, you can cover those with a dime. So, uh, this isn't too bad out of the, um, Winchester Daisy M14. Okay, now as you can tell, this is fun. I had fun with this. Uh, I was a Marine. Uh, excuse my drill. It's been a while since I did any of that. Um, I know it was sloppy and I'm sloppy and everything, but, um, you know, that's no insult to my Marine Corps. That's a tribute to my Marine Corps. Um... I drilled with the M16A2 rifle, not the M14, so that was a little funny, you know, but um, you get the idea. This thing is fun. It is. It's fun. Now, I got to admit, after I did the chrono testing, I put a couple fresh cylinders in here for the accuracy, and there was some left over, and I've been playing with it, just shooting random stuff around the garage and wherever, and this thing is dead on, man. I'm telling you, 10 yards, I, what I did, I had a couple of empty spray cans, spray paint cans, with them little spray nozzles on the tip, <laughs> and standing offhand, I was knocking the uh, spray <laughs> tips off of those cans, one after the other, and it was fun, it was great. Do I recommend you buy this rifle? I think they're selling for about 70 or $80 in most places. Yeah, yeah, fuck, why not? I'm sorry for swearing. <laughs> Why not buy one? It's a fun rifle. Uh, again, I don't recommend you use this for pesting. This situation with my friend is a special situation. Um, I, I don't suggest everybody shoot animals with these. But for plinking, for just some fun in the backyard, yeah, this is fun. Would I recommend this for a new shooter? No. The trigger's too bad. It's too long, it's too heavy. You you almost think the rifle's broken. You're like, oh, it's not going off, and then you keep pulling, and then bang! <laughs> so, it's a heavy trigger. It's not good for a beginner. Um, it's fun. It, it is what it is. You know, don't expect to uh, get 100-yard shots out of this. Don't expect to kill bears with it, you know? If you buy it with the correct expectations, I think you'll be very satisfied. It's a fun gun, and um, I think you'll enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this quick review. I'm sorry I couldn't be more thorough. And uh, stay tuned for more.